you know, get them to go in the hive. Mm -hmm. Okay, get some of that smoke in there. Okay. You want to just wait a minute, okay? Because okay. what's going to happen is... Hi, welcome back to my channel here on YouTube. Today's video is about winter hives, how to make them survive, and how I lost one of my hives in Northern California in the heavy rains. That's what's next. Okay, everyone, this is what happened to the hive here. Now, what happened here is that we had boxes that were, one was a good, a good deep box, and another one was partially good. But, you know, you got to be careful because sometimes stuff happens to your gear, the boxes that you have. And this is a fairly good box. I painted it. Uh, it looks good. But look inside here. Look in the sun. You can, but the water got in here. You can see that. The water, I'm gonna show you here. It's kinda of hard, but the water got in here. Uh, and it seeped in. It seeped in. Um, and the hood that I used, the hood that I had, was, was this kind of hood. And insulation, but these hoods, was given to me and not really good for heavy rain maybe no hoods are good for heavy rain but uh, I got this hood it was given to me it works good you know in regular weather even with insulation but but somehow somehow the water got into this hive and if you look here it's had water getting well I wiped it off it was a little worse than this it was very damp uh, these bees are fat they didn't starve they just got they panicked and they took their hive and they tried to save it they're at the top of this box I had them set up in here but I just took it apart I wish I could have showed you that but this is the results of heavy rain old equipment they say old equipment's good but it depends where you're at and depends on the conditions uh, where you're located where your bees are at but it's good to keep your bees in a shedded area. Sometimes people have big sheds and they put their bees in there through the winter. Keeps them from the rain, getting hit by the rain. And you know, out here, as you notice, the hives that I have, they get hit by the rain. So you're gonna lose some of the deep rain, very high moisture count, um, a lot of water. But my other hives are doing good. I lost two hives this winter already. But you know, they're older hives too, and they were given to me, and I did, did some splits. Uh, from one hive. I don't know the genetics on that. It was uh, a guy named Michael Turner gave me those hives, which was great. I got them for free. It was a learning experience. And that's what this is about anyway. So you learn from, from your mistakes. You learn from other people. You learn what they have, what they don't have. It's about genetics. It really is. It's about genetics. Uh, and if you don't have good genetics, you know, it can cause a lot of issues like this. But this one was a mistake. This one got water in it. Uh, and when you get water in your hive, it gets cold, it gets moldy, and then you get these results. I had them in here, but there were more, and they're in here. You know, they're dead. I look for a queen. There's no queen. I really look, but maybe she got, but they got mold in them. I mean, these are the bees that, I mean, they're mold on them. So, you know, how the insects were eating them. That is what happened here, 2023 of January. We're dealing with a hive that was fully working, fully doing its job. I even treated it. I fed it. I just said it got water in it. You got to watch out for that. And these bees are not starving. They're fat. They were eating well. Their diet was good. Um, I gave them patties. I was feeding them. You know, I didn't let them starve, but the conditions were we're really bad so that's what happened here so I have other hives that I have that are getting through the winter so hopefully they'll still get through the winter this one here is the jolly here uh, 
and I'm feeding them also. Um, the rain didn't get to them. Look at the seeding here. You gotta be careful, look. You see, the water will get in. But they sealed this a little bit. It does, and this is old equipment. Uh, not always old equipment's good. They always talk about, oh, get old equipment doesn't make a difference, the bees like it. Listen, that's not for everyone. Everybody don't have those same conditions. So you have to watch it. Then we have a nook here. This nook came from that genetic right there. And that came out of the valley uh, from a pollinator. It's got good genes. I was two years old, probably older. You gotta watch it though, but I think it superseded itself. And superseding, we'll talk about that. But let me tell you what it really quickly is. The bees that supersede themselves are the better bees. Bees that swarm a lot, they make lots of new queens, they take the half the hive with them. It's better to have a superseded, a superseded hive a bee that does that. It places it with one or two queens, they pick the one they like, and then they're off and running. This one superseded itself, and it wound up here. This one I'm feeding it still. I took honey from another hive, and I brought it here because this is a new hive. I don't know how old the queen is, probably a new queen, but it's, uh, it's, it's still surviving. And that's a good sign here. Don't forget, bees are going through a lot of changes. This one here was was light at one time, but it's it's okay. We got a dead bee here. It happens, but they're bringing pollen in, which is a good sign. But still got to get in these hives. Next month I will. I'm gonna get inside these hives. Already. Gotta get them over here. So they're finding pollen right now, uh, which is good. So, lesson learned, everybody. Make sure your equipment is not too old. It depends where you're at, but if it's old, wrap it. Maybe I should have wrapped that hive since they're old to seal the this here. You see, when they're old, they don't line up. Water seeps in. It happens. You can't blame your mentor. You know your mentor should tell you things like this, but they can't catch everything because they're still learning too. And that's what happens. They don't know everything and they can't remember everything. You're going to have to learn on your own. You know, they can't babysit you, so you're going to have to do it. So new equipment is better. If you get old equipment, you better make sure they're together. They came together. They match. Because Miss, Miss, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I guess Mitch matching hives is of, I guess using different types of hardware from different locations different sizes you need to stick with one size if you can um, that's what I would do that's pretty much it today you know you're getting to see what's really going on here uh, it's about keeping bees alive and that's hopefully what we can do here it thanks for watching this is the update for 2023 happy new year to you and everyone that watched my channel uh and hopefully i can grow huh not easy to grow uh, gotta get more help but still working on that all right thank you for watching you make it a great day happy new year to you see you next time here at russian river bees in northern california bye-bye